Hi y'all, she's star goddess. Okay, so we're gonna talk about Michael today. The Archangel Michael, Saint Michael. Because Michael's feast day is coming up on September 29th, on the Tuesday. So if you, any one of y'all work with Archangel Michael, you should do like a little altar for him um, for the 29th of September. It is his feast day, or Michael Moss. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna get into some Michael stuff. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna show you all my talisman. This is the Archangel Michael talisman, Kabbalah style. And that's the front, and that is the back. And I ordered this online, and it came with this little card and it was in this plastic thing but I saved the card I'm gonna read y'all what Michael is for Michael is the protector of career courage achievements ambition and life mission he is the prince who defeats humans I mean I'm sorry he is the prince who defends humans against forces of evil he releases fears and anxiety and promotes faith he helps heal past negative experiences. So that's why I always say work with Michael because he does so much. Healing, protection against all lower entities, all evil, career, you know. Um, you know, when you're trying to achieve great success, work with Michael. So I wear this and I also have uh, some Oracle cards some Archangel Oracle cards that I do work with. And I love these cards because um, these cards depict Michael in more than one image. You know what I'm saying? Because we're always used to seeing, you know, that Nordic image of Michael like this. And this is not the original, you know, what, what Michael looks like. But they, they show him as a, like, you know, a Native American. They show him... Um, like this, like more of a Hermes type, and they show him more like a, a feminine type because angels are androgynous, and, you know. They show him like an Asian, and they show him this is what you're probably used to seeing, you know, that new age Michael uh image. This is very new. They used uh, the original. The original Michael looked very different and there's a card with the original Michael on it you can go and look back in old 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 paintings and he will look like this this is the original so um, yes he had an afro <laughs> but yes and so over the years they've changed his appearance a lot but you know it's all about it's all about you know what you work like to work with you know if you like to see yourself in your deity or your angel that's very understandable um then they have him here looking more like pan pawn then they have him here looking like jesus <laughs> So I'm not gonna go through all of these, but um, I have one here looking like North African. And there was one where he looked like Tom Cruise, I'm not lying. There's one where he looks like Brad Pitt and one where he looks like Tom Cruise. <laughs> I'm serious, y'all, they made him look good. Okay, here's the one where he looks like Tom Cruise. Okay, here's the one where he looks like Brad Pitt in the Legend of the Fall Days. Okay, so since you know there were so many images and you know of Archangel Michael, I had my own made, of course. <laughs> so I had this painted as my uh, tribute to Archangel Michael, and I do have this in my uh, witchy room and my my altar room upstairs. And this is how I envision Archangel Michael. And if y'all forgot, the uh, the artist that I use is Just Curves. You can find him on Facebook if you want something painted. He does very good work for a great price. Um, I'll put his link in the description box. And, okay. 
And then my friend Oceana, she sent me this Archangel Michael fetish. And you can put this on your altar. And you know his colors are red and gold. And sometimes cobalt blue. But mostly red and gold for fire. Because his element is fire. And you can find these candles at your dollar store. Dollar, 99 cents only has these a lot. Um, Just Curves also made me this cuff. <laughs> And I use this like on my candles when I don't have an Archangel Michael candle I'll just get like a red candle and I'll just put this cup on it to represent the Archangel Michael it's really supposed to be a bracelet but I use it as a cuff for my candle um, so a little bit about Archangel Michael Hold on, I got caught something. I'm gonna reach y'all something out of my because I have some stuff about him in my book of shadows. I'm gonna go ahead and read it. Where'd it go? Okay, so Archangel Michael, his days are Sunday and Thursday. His herbs are any hot spicy herb, but cinnamon is like what he likes best. So cinnamon. His oils are cinnamon oil, rose oil, or patchouli. So that's why I always use them for truly. Um, his stones are ruby, garnet, malachite, and hematite. Um, his tarot card is strength and justice. And also it's temperance too, but mostly strength and justice. His offering, like what you would offer him on an altar, is spicy foods with cinnamon in it. Like cinnamon roll or more spicy cinnamon cinnamony foods like red hots stuff like that um, um, you can do like some spicy cinnamon bread or some uh, big red gum I don't know just something spicy cinnamony okay his feast day is September 29th like I already said it says Michael commands all lower in entities and will protect you from all. Call on him to give you the ultimate permanent protection for you and your loved ones. So yes. So also if you're like a darker witch or a darker magician and you know a lot of people you know sometimes they work with like demons and lower entities. Well if you work with Michael you never have to worry about you know things coming back on you or things backfiring because Michael controls all of those lower entities, all of those demons. Uh, if you remember, King Solomon was given a ring by Archangel Michael that commanded the demons to do his will. So uh, that's how that works. Also, um, y'all know that uh, I also associate Michael with the darkness because even though his element is the sun, I mean, his planet is the sun, but the sun comes from the darkness as well. It's just a, um, what? Uh, it's just a, something weird popped up on my computer. It's a pure energy light that was derived out of darkness, a star, and it's giving off energy in the universe to, to create, you know, the life that we have on Earth. So... I wanted to show y'all this uh, MJ CD cover. He's like becoming the darkness, becoming the ethers, becoming the universe. And it looks like that. Isn't that cool? So it looks like, you know. And it's escape. Like he escaped the matrix. Anyway. <laughs> In and out. So I just wanted to do this like video on Michael. So that y'all can um, understand more why I do work with Michael and also if you do work with Michael and you didn't know that his feast day was coming now you know so you can kind of like do a little altar celebrate light a candle do something because Michael protects us and Michael means who is like God which is an aspect of ourselves who is like God um, so it doesn't mean it's not a question it's it's a question to yourself who is like God? Are you like God? Can you create? Uh, can you can you bring justice? Can you protect yourself? Like all these things Michael do, all these things that Michael do, we do, we do. You know, it's just 
sometimes we need an energy to emulate who is like God. Okay, so thank you all for watching. I will uh, answer all your questions in the description box. And also, my birth angel is Michael. Crazy, huh? Who is this? You're just another part of me. <laughs> I don't know that number, so I'm not answering. Anyway, that was strange, but actually very timely. Okay, so I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.